to my channel and if you don't know who I am, I am Becky, I am 22 years old and I am from North Wales and it will be the last time that I'm saying I'm 22 years old. So this video is obviously going up on Valentine's Day and my birthday is the day after so oh, I am going to be 23. Um, please ignore my appearance because obviously it looks like we're doing something to our face today. Um, but I've dyed my hair darker because it's just easier to maintain. My natural hair's brown anyway. I was supposed to dye it brown and it's gone a little bit black. So it may look washed out because I've not filmed with obviously this hair colour before. Um, but yeah, today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I have got a few imperfections so we need to get them covered. So today, as you can tell by the title of this video, is a Valentine's Day look and maybe a giveaway at the end um so yeah i'm only going to be using one palette for my eyes for this makeup look and it's going to be the huda beauty ruby obsessions palette i actually got one of these for valentine's day last year off lewis um and i've used it quite a bit i've also put it in my project pan since putting it in my project pan i've used it three times i think um so it's getting used, but I just think it's the perfect Valentine's Day palette. It's got like your reds, your pinks, and your like, if you want your champagne colours or your goldy colours. So yeah, I thought I would put this into use on YouTube because I've not used it on YouTube before. So this is also a collab with Makeup with Alex Kate's Patreons. Um, so we've decided to do a makeup look between us and um, so all their links will be in the description box below if you would like your chance to get hold of this stay tuned till the end of the video <laughs> so i'm just gonna go in with this like red pinky color here in my crease and i have no clue what brush it is i know it's a bh cosmetics brush but that's all i know and i'm just gonna put it in my crease and blend it out I think I need a smaller brush but we're gonna see if we can work with it um, so yeah now I'm gonna do the same on the other eye See that, that, that looks darker now than the other one. So we're just going to see. So if I can just get the other one slightly darker, but not as dark. I find it hard to even them out. I think they're roughly the same now. So yeah. Um, also, if you're wondering what I've used on my eyebrows, I've literally run out of my P. Louise pencil now, and they're so expensive to replace. Um, so I tried using the W7 one because it is like a micro tip, sort of, it's like a similar one, but it just keeps breaking like every time and I'm not even pressing hard on it. So I'll use it until it's empty, which I don't think there's that much left. That's how much is left, and we've literally got this last week. Um... And I've used it with Pink Honey and um, the P. Louise Brow Gel because I thought like it would give a bit more of a tint. Um, so hopefully it's all right. I thought I'd bring my Mitchell back with his um, blank canvas paint and just pull it on the lids because I just want to make the colour pop a bit more. And I'm using the BH Cosmetics 102 brush. Um, it is quite big, I do probably need a smaller one of this. Mostly we know how fast these set, so I just want it on the lid. Just to make the colour that I'm going to put on next pop a bit more. I haven't used this in a while. To be fair. I'm going to use the crease brush just to even it out a bit. Um, so it's not got any harsh lines. 
doesn't really matter until we put the next colour on. So, just letting that one dry. Doing the other one. So taking a Morphe Madison beer brush, I'm not sure which one it is, just a small one. I'm going to be using the middle shade in the palette. Um, it's kind of got like purple reflexes and it's looking a bit more purple on camera. Um, but you know, and we're just going to stick that on the lid. Oh, it is quite purple actually. Purple's my favourite colour anyway. Some people say to like apply it like your lid shades with your finger because apparently you get more pigmentation. Has anyone ever done that before? I don't know whether to like maybe try it. Not now but like in the future. This um, base dries so quickly. This M -M -M Mitchell Acid Rain. I feel like when I say it, like, I need to say, like, the full words. And just because it's so long, isn't it? It's P. Louise, M -M 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 Mitchell Acid Rain Paint, blank canvas. And it's just like, it's just like so much to say. <laughs> and I'm just like, M -M -M Mitchell Acid Rain. And then I'm realising, oh no, actually, it's a P. Louise product. It's not, he's just like, did a collection with a on in the corner here and just lightly lightly put it through the crease like do you know so there's just a bit more of a pop I'd love to be able to, you know, use liner. Have you seen like when people do proper like nice liner over their lids? But I've just, because I've got like um, hooded eyes, it's really hard to do. And um, I've always wanted to be able to do it. Because I think that would look sick right now on hair. I think it would look sick, but I can't do it. I can actually do it. Makeup by Jodie Marie can do it really, really well. And I'm actually super, super jealous of like when she does it. Um, because it just looks amazing. Like, uh, honestly, like the way, like, I don't think she may have done it on YouTube. I'm not sure. But I know on her Instagram, she literally does it with like the water activated liners. And it just looks so perfect. And I'm like, oh, she so I'm just going in with a glossy box liner um, that I got in a glossy box. I'm just going to go in with this other burgundy red shade here. It's more of a shimmer and this is what I'm going to put underneath my um, waterline. And obviously I will be topping it up anyway when um, I've done my base. I don't know if that makes me look bloodshot. Go in with a Morphe M139 um, just to kind of blend that out a bit because it's quite hard. I should have probably put this one in the crease and um, the other one in the other one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. So I've put the lashes on. I'm not sure what I think. Um, the lashes I put on were Doll Beauty um, DB25. Um, and what I found was when I was putting them on, the mascara was clinging to the lashes as well. And it just like, it's just dead like clumpy. Like they've clumped together underneath the lash. It just looks a bit, just a bit different. A bit not my style. Um, but yeah. And they're natural ones. I thought I'd pick natural ones just because, like, I'm literally not even doing anything today. But, yeah, um, if I was going out on Valentine's Day and, you know, like, going for a fancy meal or something like that, then maybe I'd have a bit more of a dramatic lash on. But, yeah, 
so the foundation that I put on today, which I am actually loving, is the W7 Very Vegan Foundation. I have got it in the lighter shade, but I love the finish of it. Um, so yeah, we've got the Perfectly Very Vegan Foundation. Lou Stevenson actually told me to buy this, basically, and said it was like one of her favourite foundations. And then the concealer I've got on is the Tarte Double Duty Shape Tape thing. Bought this like over a year and a half ago when I was in Paris. Um, and so I use, I'm using is my Hula Benefit. I'm nearly finished. Nearly finished. I don't know whether I can get into them corners. But yeah. Then the blush I'm using is the Beauty Bay Blush in Peachy so foldable love it and then the highlighter i've got on today is the illamasqua omg highlighter just thought it went quite well with the blush and with the look rather than a light light one like the doll beauty one i have i'm really stressed out with like the lips and stuff so like i've tried like four different lipstick and i just didn't find anything that went very well with this eyeshadow and then yeah so, in the end, we've literally just gone with lipstick. I haven't even put lip liner or gloss on. We've just gone in with the Morphe lipstick in Temp. I don't know. I just got really, really stressed over it. I get stressed over my lips sometimes because they're not the right shape and it's just nothing applies to them very well. Or, like, if I line them, I overline them. Or I line them properly and they're just wonky and it just never goes to plan ever. So I want my lips done so they go to plan. So this is the end look. I've just curled my hair a little bit. It kind it kinda it kinda has fallen out a bit, but I'm not too bothered. Um and I obviously did have a black top on, but then I realised when I let my hair down that like it just didn't look right because my hair blended in, so I'm gonna have to buy some more top. <laughs> because all oh, my tops are black um, my hair's obviously supposed to be brown anyway so hopefully after a few washes because I've just dyed it hopefully after a few washes it will you know sort of wash out a bit more so it comes a bit lighter but yeah the only thing I hate about having dark hair as well is like do you know when you do your foundation and it kind of turns a bit of your hair pink grey <laughs> yeah that's what I feel like right now but yeah so I've got to change into a grey jumper and I'm going to wear this today anyway um, but yeah, so this is the final look. I don't know whether I'm happy with it, but you know, the eyelashes kind of ruined it for me. Mm. I feel like now I've got darker hair, I need to be more, more sort of bronzier maybe, so I don't look as washed out. I don't know, what do you guys think? So yeah, this is the final look. So, like I said at the start of this video, this is a collab video with all of Alex's Patreons. So, their links will be left in the description below. So, please, please, please go check everyone's out. Everyone's worked so hard on this. And I can guarantee you that there are some amazing, amazing looks on this that they've done. Because they look like MUAs compared to me. <laughs> I'm not going to say there might be a giveaway with a not really giveaway, would I? Um, so yeah oh my camera yeah it's just a small giveaway it's not like the other one where I had quite a bit in but yeah so I may have gave a hint to what one of the things are so one of the things are is the Huda Ruby Obsessions palette this is obviously a new one it's not mine um, and I can prove it to you because it, it has not been touched at all not even swatched and I thought why not give this away if I'm using it in the video and yeah so to go with that I also got a skincare item which is also by Huda and um, obviously it's the wishful range and it is the Yo Glow enzyme scrub I have the full version of this this is just a mini but this is a deluxe mini like that is a lot of product in there and um, yeah and it smells so nice and fruity and I love mine so one of you will win that as well and then I thought 
You can't just give eyes without something to go on the lips and face. So for the face, I'm giving away the Palette BR Cosmetics Heat Wave Highlight Palette. Um, the palette, so it just looks like this. Um, amazing highlighters in there for all different skin tones. Um, so yeah, I just knew I wasn't going to use this when I got my rocker box, so I thought I'd pop it in the giveaway for one of you guys to get use out of it. And then for the lips, um, I bought this in January from Boots. It's the Sleek Matte Me Birthday Suit um, Liquid Lipstick. It used to be one of my favourites when I was younger. And yeah, so I thought that would go. So you've got something for your eyes, something for your face, something for your skin and something for your lips. And I thought, why not pop a little sample in of something that you can smell like. So this is just the Black Opium Sample. Um, and yeah, so I thought, is five things that you can win. Um, and yeah, so the rules. So the rules are obviously you must be subscribed to my channel um, and you must be a loyal subscriber. If you see this video and subscribe, that's fine, you can still enter, but you like, you must obviously like go watch my old videos and like, like and comment on them. Like when the winner gets picked, I'll be looking through all other comments on videos and like stuff like that to actually see if you've been loyal. And to be honest, I reply to, I reply or heart most of my comments so when your name gets picked I'll recognize your name anyway um, so yeah you must be a subscriber you must like and obviously comment on this video I want you to comment a question that you would like me to answer because I would love to do a Q&A video very very soon um, so yeah you must be subscribed like this video and comment um, a question for me to answer please try and comment a different question to everyone else because obviously I don't want the same question um, being asked loads of times um, and yeah if you would like any extra entries comment your Instagram name in the box when you're writing your question um, in the comment section pop your Instagram in there make sure you're following me um, so yeah extra entries if you follow both my Instagrams <laughs> But yeah, um, and this will be announced on the 15th of March, this giveaway winner. So yeah, you've got a month to enter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video where I'll be 23. <laughs>